Okay, we are in search of a cricket frog in this river area. With Joshua. They have just been all over this bank. And there's also lots of tracks here in the sand. Oh wow, there's a big frog right there. That is a green frog. I don't know if you can see it right there in the water is a green frog. So we are herping here at this river and I just caught two very often seen frogs at rivers like these. Um, chances are if you live somewhere in the Midwest you can go out to a river or a creek and find both of these kinds of frogs. First we have here a green frog. It's kind of a medium sized frog. Still a decent size. Um, you can see the large tympanum and the dorsolateral ridge going down the side. That's the way to distinguish them from bullfrogs, is that ridge there is not found on bullfrogs. Their ridge will just curl around the ear, and it'll be smooth right here on both sides. These guys can vary from a green coloring to a very brownish coloring. This guy's got kind of both. He's got a nice green on his face and brown on his back, and you can see some black spots a little bit too. Some powerful hind legs for jumping and some webbed feet for swimming. Okay, I'm gonna release him now. There we go. Okay, so the other species that we caught is a cricket frog. These guys are all also often found at creeks or rivers many places with water, even ponds and stuff. They're pretty difficult to find and to catch because of how small and jumpy they are. You can also identify them by the triangle, dark triangle between their eyes. And they're generally small size. Yeah, the adults range from one to a little more than one inch. Yeah. So, this... so this is a uh, fully grown adult pretty much. Yeah. Time to release it. See? Speedy. It's right there. I just uprooted this uh, wild carrot. It's probably washed off for you guys to see it better. But um, the plant is also known as Queen Anne's Lace. Here's an example of what it looks like before you uproot it. So, uh, if you want some, you kind of just go to the base really get down low around all of the stems and pull straight up smoothly but with a decent amount of force and you should get this I kinda got two carrots here because this is a decent size one uh, I'll wash it off so you guys can see it better and it does taste like a carrot it's actually pretty cool there, there's a little bit better view so there's the pith I think it's called in the center of this carrot and that's the part you don't want to eat. It tastes kind of like wood. So you just cut this off or break it off. Um, and you can eat most of this. There's also a thin outer layer that I usually take off. Take off the outer layer if you want. Take out the pith before you eat it. And then munch. Tastes like a carrot. I guess we'll bring this home and actually wash it with clean water. And then try it and let you know how... It tastes. We're eating the carrot right now. This is actually really good. Yeah. Not carroty. Mm. Wild carroty.